Hello everybody, I'm Mr. Nobody's and welcome back to Gordian Quest. Last time, we made our way through Act 1. We slayed some cult sorcerer dude, and we got some interesting gear for our people here. So we have set up um, Alphonse to be a like fast-moving, assassin-y type deal. Ooh, I didn't even realize this, but if we feral leap? He'll gain agility and then somersault. I think we can pay for a feral leap with somersault. Like we leap into an enemy's space and then somersault two spaces away. And then swift kill something else. Like we can get all sorts of badass ninja shit going on with Alphonse here. This is going to be great. Jendaya. I think is doing decently as a defensive character. Shuddering steps. So it's going to be a free attack, more or less, from her. It is a card draw, however, so that's going to be a problem. And, I mean, as far as uh, Narn goes, you know, she's Narn. She's like, she's, she's good to start with. Today, we're going to uh, just keep going. We need to take a look at what's going on ahead of us and figure out what we want to do. So we have two bosses. We have the Lich. Ooh. Or we have Asva again. Asva is back and looking for revenge. Honestly. Honestly, fighting Asva again sounds super funny. Just like make Asva our recurring villain. Okay, so where do we think we're going to get the most power here? We could just go for three hallway fights, but I don't think that's going to be what we really want. I need to gather a bunch of money. <gasps> um, ooh, we got a sandstorm. I don't know what that's about, but... Hmm, that could be pretty cool. And we have a forge. Again, I don't necessarily know what the forge does. An opportunity to purchase or tinker with items you currently have. Okay. So how about we go fight, shop, storm, forge? That's going to be so much. That's going to be wasted time right there. We could go event, explore, event, fight, forge. But I want to know what the storm does. Let's go for the storm. <laughs> I just really want to know what the storm does. All right, Rocky's up first. No, okay, it is Narin. Jesus, I was so confused. I was like, why why would Rocky be the first one up? Um, okay, we can get a verse going. And then, yeah, wipe out about half of everybody's health. And critical. It's a small crit, but hey, it's a crit nonetheless. This Dune Stalker guy probably won't want him going down. Because he's different and therefore bad. No. Bad joke. Stop. <laughs> um. Punch this dog to death. All allied wolves also deal six damage. Well, that's not great. Uh, yeah, that... <laughs> That's gonna put Alphonse at a lot of risk here. Okay. Oh no. Oh, Alphonse, no. Okay. So, what do we do here? We swift strike you.
We could lure? This one over to Rocky? Is that the right way to do this? I don't know. So what I can do is I can lure one of them towards Rocky. And then... No, it'd be lure you towards Rocky. Let me shift back here. Somersault over to here. Target you. And I'm not sure why we did all that, but... Oh wait, that, one, that didn't help! That made it worse! I've made it worse! It would have been just target the one on the bottom here. No! Oh, god damn it. How am I this stupid? Fuck. Alright, whatever. <laughs> yeah, just take out the dogs. It's a very good decision on my part. All right. Oh, everybody leveled up. Sorry, I, I get I get excited about the leveling in this. Um. All right, Alphonse, let's get you some bonus health. Jendaya, we can get you some bonus initiative. And then Naron, let's get you a skill. So, her music is the extension of that, control ebb and flow. So I think metal is our, like, damaging stuff? Base, remove tones, add metal, gain inspiration. Vulnerable is 50% more. So what I want is I want buffs. Apply five vulnerable to all enemies, plus two vulnerable for every. Okay, so uh, ab abating is the the thing that I want here for Naron. Because vulnerable is, yeah, they take more damage from the next hit. So it's the more aggressive side of crit. So what's tempo? Gain guard, gain guard, purge, all allies gain guard. Okay. Um, target ally gains one AP, all other allies also gain one AP, damn. At the start of each round, Clear all other tones, gain inspiration. And then Glamour, rap. <laughs> yes, just rap to gain inspiration. Oh my God, I can get an action rap battle with my enemies, amazing. Jack of all trades, this one is super duper good because this adds all of the tones, um, which allows us to activate Bardic Expertise, and as you can see, that gives us all sorts of good effects. Gain two inspiration, expend, ex expend. Start each one armed with blue, clear all other tones, gain inspiration. I mean, it looks like a lot of these are just gain inspiration and don't do anything with it. Target ally gains one channel. I We're not worrying about channeling. Target ally gains one channel, gain one inspiration plus one channel. Well, she doesn't even channel. If Naran did the channeling herself, I'd say that'd be worth it, but like, yeah, she doesn't channel anything. 
Put a free temp shift card into your target ally's hand. Gain one inspiration, you and ally gain five guard if you have the green. Tempo. Purge. Chorus of Communion, copy a random buff on target and add them to another. Copy a random debuff on target and add them to another. Plus one debuff for every inspiration. Damn. All allies gain initiative. That doesn't seem very useful. Let's see here. I think, yeah, I think then this is what I want. Gain one inspiration. Gain 12 crit, remove tones, add blue and red. Start each round with red, clear all tones. Discard a card, the next two times you gain inspiration, double the value. Yeah, so let's go with metal. So bouncing hit slow tempo, discard a card, the next two times you gain inspiration, double it. Or gain 12 crit, remove tones, add blue red. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, it doesn't seem very good. All right, let's get a respect point. Now can I, wait, can I immediately? Pick a skill to modify or replace. To modify or replace. What does that mean? Okay. Ah, apply five vulnerable to all enemies. My, plus two vulnerable. Yes! Chorus of ablating, let's go! Or abating, whatever. Okay. Okay. So when you level up, you can like, yeah. You can replace an ability with chorus of abating, which is really good. Because course of abating isn't your next attack, it's the next time they get attacked. Which is, yeah, that's, oh my god, that's good. That's really good. Alright, I need to sound a little bit less into it. Plus two dex. 9% chance to gain agility when you hit. Move to target lane, gain one agility. Apply 10, 10 vulnerable to a thing. Grants Poison Fang, Grants Poison Fang! Poison Fang, apply two more poison, plus you still attack. Gain one crit when you apply poison. Jesus. I'm like really fixated on the poison thing. Redwood Wand. Veteran's Short Sword. Plus one to a random attack skill in hand on battle start. Add guard to your channel on turn at... What? All right, that's a little crazy. Game between one and three fate. Okay, see, that's not bad. Alphonse gains max ASP. ASP. ESP. I forgot to give Narin her uh, Marksman's badge. Okay. I don't think I want Imperium. To be entirely honest, like, it doesn't seem that good. Arca Arcane Grimoire. Add a random conjuration card to your hand. Gain one channel. Limited. Gain a random buff after going gaining five channel. Gain one channel in the battle start. Okay. Not gonna lie, like, this... Oh shop is kind of trash um 
Convert it into dexterity skills. What does that mean? Like, what does it mean for something to be a certain kind of skill? I get it. Dex based challenges, guard with defense, add guard to your channel. If anybody did channeling, that'd be great. I mean, it looks like we just kind of screwed on this shop. You know what we can do though at this shop? We can buy up all day potion. Attached skill gains purge. Remove a random debuff on self when played. Meh. Max rank. Let's go. You're not wearing any armor? That's a movement skill. Um, ooh, somersault. Okay. I can't get a higher level somersault. Plus one to strength. Let's see here. I want my feral leap. If I had something that would attach more runes to my sword, I happily. When used on your current node, a portal teleports you to any node in the next tier. Yeah, I don't, I don't think there's anything here for us. Maybe the vet's great sword? Or the short sword? But like, even then, I kinda prefer the feral thing to it. Yeah, we'll hold on to it for the moment. Um, Sure, let's purchase the helmet. Figure out who can use it. Hey! Okay. Okay. You know what? No, I'm here for that. So, course of abating is gonna go from, yeah, five to six. Absolutely, okay. We have something there. Melee. Oh. Let's see. Give you target prey and dodge. Getting a level up. Excellent, okay. Let's go ahead and move on then. To the sandstorm. Oh, it's just a fight. Okay. Well, that's boring. Um, Rocky, are you okay? Takes 30% more damage on the next few hits. Damn. All right, a swift death. All right, let's hunt an attack card. Great, fantastic, oh my God. Give me an attack. Oh, let me hit. 
Ah, uh, okay. That's enough of that. Um... Let's just target someone. All right. Let's go... Intro. Verse. Expertise. And then staggering. Staggeringly powerful. Um, what's going on there? Can we swiftly murder someone here? Yes. So you're gonna step up there. Oh my god. Oh my god, just uh Oh Brutal. Oh oh my god, okay. I did not know how good Alphonse was. Holy shit. I have greatly been underestimating how powerful Alphonse is. Because he can just jump from kill to kill. Like, he's certainly not my favorite character still. That's actually Jendaya here. Because I love her defensive abilities. I think that they're really, really strong. She's really insanely good to have on your team. But, oh my god, like, there's just no denying how powerful Alphonse is, like, damn. Like, this genuinely might be my, my chosen trio from now on. Um... Fuck it, I guess we're just gonna start punching people until they die. <laughs> just start punching everyone until they fucking stop. <laughs> Chorus of abating. I actually wanna do verse of vigor and then blast some fools. Until they stop this madness. Alphonse, my dearest friend. You're needed. All right. It's a feral fool qu killing time. Um, observe this lad, and then strike him dead. Okay, you, you failed miserably, Alphonse. Congratulations. You let me down, you let the whole team down. Mostly you let yourself down, Alphonse. Anyway. On start? On turn start? Create a seismic sh Oh my god, it takes so long to activate. Oh, never mind, it's right there. Oh my god, I'm so bad at paying attention. Is the uh, the actual answer there? Yes. Oof. Okay, Rocky pop, pop there, pop there, and turn. Verse. Oh, vigor. Get some crit going. And once again, we be blasting fool. Okay, and we go quick draw. Do we hidden blade? Do we hidden blade? Do we hidden blade? We hidden blade. And then we stab. 
Oh, look at that. Look at that. And we have officially unlocked the uh, second bit of everybody's sphere grid skill tree thing. So, as you see, our skill tree here looks rather small, but for some reason we can move it around a bunch. Why is that? Well, that is because this is not our entire skill tree. We are an assassin, a saboteur, or a spy. And we can build further into that. So, we can see here, Assassin 2. Assassin skills focusing on building up and dealing high single target damage. Or, Sabotage skills focus on controlling the battlefield through the implementation of traps. Subterfuge, which is a focus on sowing chaos among enemies through poison and deception. Obviously, we know with Alphonse where we want to go. We want to make him the best stabby boy he can stab or be. So, we're going to take the assassin, and as you can see, we can put it anywhere in comparison to our current grid. We're going to put it here because this connects us to a talent immediately. And if we wanted, we could go increase a skill rank. Ooh, increase a skill rank right into getting Assassin 2. Hmm. I'm not going to lie. That increase a skill rank into Assassin 2 is pretty good. Increase status value. Status. Increase damage value in scaling. Reduce status value in scaling. So we can give... Ooh. Ooh. So we go skill rank. Yeah, for Swift. We need level eight for that. What level are we? What level am I? Who am I? Where am I? We're level six. Okay, so we can't level up Swift kill just yet. Um, what about observe? Level three. What about Tickle Our Prey? Level three. Um, tickle Prey is actually not as good. And it's not, it's not Tickle. It's not Tickle Prey. I know, I know it's not. I just, I become overwhelmed by the idiot urge. I really wish this increased the amount you drew, Jesus. Not the amount you drew Jesus, but just like Drew in general. <laughs> Draw me like one of your divine entities. Um. So, I could grab a talent, get that increased damage, get recovering health on kill, physical resistances. Plus one max SP. Certain skills use strategic points. I don't know what certain skills it's referring to. Plus one agility charge once per turn. You can use your default move. Move one slot at no cost. Our dexterity modifier is still plus three. If your dex is higher than your strength, add half your dex modifier to your strength modifier. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> like, why? Why would I do this? Why do I want this? Uh, explain it to me. Um. I don't know if any of these talents are particularly useful actually. So I'm gonna say, how about we increase our observation ability so it's plus two on the base and then plus one for each enemy in the area. Like that's, that's gotta be the right way to go about that. Jan Daya. We're obviously gonna turn you into a geomancer. Um, although, I mean like synthesis and command Rocky are both, both really good. Rocky gains seven guard if you're directly behind him. Rocky gains seven guard if you're in the same row. Inventive Solutions is a command Rocky? Oh. I'm not gonna lie. 
Maybe Command Rocky is better. Adjacent allies gain bonus draw for one turn. Hold on. Hold on. In part? Maybe I've been doing this wrong. Skill mastery. All right. So status effects will be applied through guard. Remove a random buff. <sighs> remove retain? Why would I remove retain? Base power is increased by 35%. Cannot be mastered. Rip. Create rock. Is no longer limited. Each copy of this card can only be played once per turn. Remains in hand on turn and can be discarded. Twice as effective at breaking targets guard. I don't know about that. Agility charges will reduce the AP cost of this skill. That's not bad. Does not count towards max card draw after your first turn. Stat scaling is reduced because it's lightweight. Is that useful? I don't know if mastering these skills is gonna be. And then synthesis, like, <laughs> Because I, I feel like I, I misunderstood some stuff. Sacrifice up to 21 of Rocky's HP to restore a friend's HP. Damn. Transfer 20% of your max HP to Rocky. Increase Rocky's strength by 6. Damn. Expend a card in hand. Rocky draws 3. Okay. Choose 2 attack cards in Rocky's deck. Increase the base damage skills by 21%. 21%. Whenever Rocky destroys a rock with a rock skill. <laughs> this is a mess of a fucking text. Follow up the damage. <laughs> Follow up damage is converted to fire damage and applies 8 burn. <laughs> I hate this text. Rejuvenating fist. Alright, look. <laughs> that name. <laughs> No! Don't name it that, no. You can't do this. Um. Rejuvenating fist. Oh, no. Okay. Let's see. Refine, talent, skill mastery. If I toss it here, I can get another talent pretty quickly and get a skill mastery pretty quickly. Learn another skill and learn some Gallimancy. Yeah. So we're going for another skill. Let's go for Command Rocky. Accurate. Every point of damage you remove, every point of damage will remove two block. Give your remaining AP to an ally. That seems really powerful. If Rocky is in the same row, reduce the AP cost of a random attack card in Rocky's hand by one for next turn. Let's go with Impart. I don't know how frequent that's gonna come up, but like, damn. All right, so we determined metal is definitely our preferred genre with her. Learn a skill, or we can go with the increased health to gain a metal skill. Oh, these aren't even good. What? Wait, what? Oh no, okay. Well, unlock. Let's get a metal card. Chorus of a Blading. 
the start of each round, clear all other tones, gain one inspiration, retain. Is that even worth it? Let's grab slow tempo. Like those cards don't even seem particularly good. Okay, so we're at the forge, are we? Yeah. So, fuse? Enchant? Pick a craft, augment item, disenchant. Unpredictably modify an item, making it stronger with a possible drawback. Sockets? What does this do? Adds sockets. Any chromatic shards? Selected, selected items will be broken down. Maybe. Attached skills grant one might on use. This seems very powerful. Medicinal leaf. When used, adds grit to your hand. When used outside of battle, restore 2 HP. Maybe. And the focus modifier. Attached skills have negative one AP cost on first use. <gasps> That could be really, really good. <laughs> On swift kill! Let's see. So how do I get the chromatic shards? Okay, so you just blow up anything with a slot. guess. So we salvage that. We got some, okay. I still forgot to give fucking Narin her marksman badge. <laughs> Let's do that right now, actually. Equipment. Narin. Here's your badge. Good job, deputy. Refine legendary item? Rerolls all values. <laughs> that doesn't sound good. Um. Unpredictably modify a weapon. Like, that doesn't sound good. I don't like the idea of the unpredictability there. Maybe this leather tunic. Maybe we just, like, augment this to see what it does. Augur's orbs. We don't have any fate. Oh, we can just buy chromatic shards? Hold on. It's like, where's that thing? So what was it we were looking at? It's blue. So socket. This. Roll one blue. I need a chromatic shard for that. Roll one blue socket. So if I buy one chromatic shard, it's saying I should be able to add a blue socket to this? Right? Wait, what? No, I didn't ask you to get rid of my fucking red socket.
Wait, okay. Do you have the ability to add more sockets? Roll sockets. Randomize the number of sockets on an item. Max sockets is two. Does it already have? Does it already have skill so or I'll I don't understand. Max sockets is two. Max sockets is one. So I think skill sockets count as sockets. Which I know is a very stupid sounding sentence, but like... Well, I'm not a very bright sounding person, so... Earth cover. So... I could always put two efficiency runes on earth cover. What if I were to like... Give summer salt? Um... Um... Uh, my head hurts. To augment an item. So, craft, what did this do? Attached attacks apply six chill, triggers once per turn, but we don't have any attached attacks. So what if we go over to sockets, say sword. All right. So, Narin, your bow. Let's say we want to. I need more auger orbs. I don't have fate to grab auger orbs. So, I think. Have I already. Uh. Hmm. Turning it back into a common item. So what if I were to salvage this belt? I couldn't get any auger orbs from that. What's a soul spark do? Fuse runes? Wait. So what does rune fusion do? Fuse runes. Hold on, give me. You're telling me I can fuse runes? What does that mean? Two dexterity becomes. or one dexterity becomes two dexterity. Oh! Are those the only ones that can be fused? Attached skill gets grant six. So like, can I fuse these might runes? Why is it only green? Guard runes, gimme. Also, give me all your dust. And fuck it, I'm gonna take your other shit as well. Gimme. I'm gonna, maybe we'll, maybe we'll understand crafting. Maybe we'll come to understand, understand crafting one day, but today is not that day. So let's make our way towards this deadly encounter here. Oh my God. That place hurt my head.
It was so, it was, there was so much going on there. I didn't understand anything I was doing. But I was certainly doing it. And that's what matters, is doing it. As hard and as often as possible. All right, that's inappropriate. Um. <laughs> anyway. We're back to we're back to murdering the real point of Christmas. Are you wearing the thing that makes it so that when you move, you like get? No, no, she is. Oh, no. Because if I gave him the thing, he gain four, and then be like, oh, I didn't even spend any energy, gain like twelve more. Oh my god, he's such a badass. He's so cool. Alphonse is so cool. <laughs> Alphonse would be like jerking himself off. Yeah, I am. Yeah, I'm so cool. I'm the coolest. Alright, Alphonse, chill the fuck out. What is this? Muddy, moving into the cell cost twice, the AP. Alright, well, we're just gonna blast that guy. Give that guy a rock. Move you there. And turn. And. Heave ho! And. Flatten the fuck out of you. Oh my god! No, 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 no! Just die. Okay, holy shit, that was a close one. Alphonse, don't do that to me. I love you. Just stop dying. All right, um, we have an exploration. Ooh, we can get some fate. <laughs> Give me that faint. Okay, what is this? Lingering curse applies a random curse. Why would I want that? Contains a consumable. All right, let me fight this monster. Oh, oh God. And give me that chest. Remove three exhaustion. I prefer to be exhausted constantly. Thank you very much. Plus one fate and take the supplies, gain four supplies. Enemies bless with vigil. Add a random reward modifier to a nearby node. Someone has made a little home out here in the desert using the rotten carcass of a giant boat. Rotten carcass of a giant boat. It must have been stranded here after was buried beneath the sands and legend as the legends go the owner isn't home but you know some supplies laying around you know what let's just go gain an extra fate add a random reward to a nearby node motherfucker start the battle with max sp oh it doesn't even matter deadly encounter gain three <laughs> three supplies excellent very worth I'm going to say we're going to take this curse and go camping. We're not even level eight yet. Are we? I don't think we are. Hold on. I got to check. Heroes, level six. Fantastic. Oh, cool. We've got rope mastery available, though. Smuggler stash, find a random item. Maybe not. Okay, does anyone actually need to sleep? No. How's everybody's SP doing? Three, three, three. Oh, nobody's been using it. Fantastic! 
Inspiration, let's go. You know, you stoke the campfire. And fuck it, make us a nice meal. Buried treasure! Let's fucking go. That is exactly what I wanted to. Or meal and stoke the campfire again. Oh. You know what? Let's train Alphonse. Oh, the Banisher needs 10 intelligence, 10 strength, grants divine hammer, 25 damage, chain forward, deals five more damage, plus one melee attack, gain one might every turn. Okay. Jeez. You're gonna socialize? Oh. You know what? Let's draw an event. You two get to chat. Draw a special activity or bondage. Bonding, not bondage. <laughs> Man, we found so much nice stuff. Remove one exhaustion, let's go. Boost a card. Maybe we do for target prey. Um. No, we're gonna go for lure. Because moving enemies around is fairly important to me. At least on an emotional level. I don't know if I want to find a random item, honestly. Not, uh, not if it means, uh, losing whatever. Time. Oh, losing stuff. Gain extra fate. Fate. That's the thing that I was thinking. It means losing fate. I don't necessarily care to. Uh... A blue rune. Nice. Okay. So you can use moment of peace. You grab that. And pass the next hour. Remove an exhaustion from you. Remove two exhaustion from you. So Alphonse has got a little bit of exhaustion left over, but it cannot be helped really. Let's keep going. Hey, we got that third fate point back. Nice. Okay. So, intro to Vigor? Okay. And... Chorus? And you know what? We are going to... Yep, scatter hit. Impart. Oh, I mean, I could literally just impart all of my energy to Alphonse right now. I'm, I'm gonna screw it. And hide behind him. Fuck it. All right, let's go. Um, see if we can't take well, we can't take that guy out. Fuck. Okay. 
Oh no. No, 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 no. Come on. Yep, whip you over that way. I hate that. But we got all these spiders to not do anything this turn, so that's good. I can't, oh God, Rocky's about to die. Um. Next two times you gain inspiration. All right, gain inspiration, blast it all. Took those two out. And turn. I, I think Rocky can legit die. Bypass his guard. Fuck. Oh, and she's gonna lose so much effectiveness if he does. Shift over. Swift kill. Quick draw. And death. Woo! All right, is Rocky gonna go back to max HP, I wonder? Because I can't remember. All right, Alphonse. Assassin 2, let's go! Move to any cell. Gain 12 guard plus 3 guard for every agility speed up. Discard a card, gain two AP. It's uh, technically just one AP. Discard a card. If there are only attack cards left in your hand, gain one AP, gain 16 crit. This is trash, why? Why do we keep doing this? 15 speed up initiative, increased by five plus X for X rounds. For 15 rounds? Is that actually what that's saying? Let's go for it. Let's see. All right, Jendaya. Um, rings, amulets, and belts, plus one channel charge. Retain a card at the end of the turn. Honestly, she's gonna be the person that's the most useful on, because she's like highly defensive. Chorus of abating. Scatter hit. Ooh, it could be Bardic Expertise. Yeah, I think it is Bardic Expertise here. Oh, she has another level. Okay. Swift hit, music of invigoration, each Start each turn, start each round with red, all allies gain eight, plus five. We're gonna grab a respect point there. We're immediately gonna spend that to, say, get rid of that, exchange it for a Glamour card. Because 
target only gains one channel, gain one inspiration. We could get wrap, but I think what we actually want. Come on. Uh, oh well, let's learn Verse of Evocation. Oh, that was really unfortunate. But what will be, will be. Let's go take on these guys. It's a pretty big fight. Hopefully, I'm not biting off more than I can chew here. All right. Intro. Chorus. Twelve damage. Oh, that was chorus. God damn it! I misunderstood what I was doing. I'm having a very good time with this. Oh no. Let's uh, dodge. And we're gonna shift behind someone else. Actually, yeah, we're gonna set up a rock in front of us. Holy crap. I forgot you could do that. Just in here, that's even legal? Wow. Um give me an give me an attack. Yeah. And it's even the one I wanted. Oh, that was observe, not spot prey. God damn it. Oh, I'm doing such a good job. All right, let's see. Verse, verse, chorus. That way we're putting pressure on them. Um. you move here and then shift to here and then do that maybe and fuck it yeah throw some burning ground down let's keep that create rock around um hello rocky Rocky, are you there? Oh no. 27 damage to the back row. Okay, let's see here. Let's, I want to use this swift strike to kill something. So what we can do is pull you forward. That's 23. Target you. You're dead. There. I did what I wanted. Oh, 
Okay, Narin, I've got to stop messing up with you. Oh dear God. Discard a card. I'm not gonna get it, real. Wait. So we discard science step. Then. Inspiration. Then we gain inspiration. And then eight or nine. I have two. So, yeah, okay. That's the way I want to go about it. So we're going to shift back here, invent a solution, throw down some earth cover, impart a bit more energy to him. Retain moon. Rocky, just start punching people until they stop moving. Actually, <coughs> yeah, knew it a bit, but not to not everyone. Um, all right, quick draw. Hidden blade. You know what? Whatever sort of psycho. Whatever experiments I were just doing, you die. Uh, shift you forward. Stab you. Shift you back out of the front row. Okay, yeah, I think, I think I'm getting it. Bigger. That. Boom. Okay, we got him. Oh, nice, I've already gained two levels. Let's go. Okay, sorry about that. All right. So, Gen Di no, Naron. Let's go ahead and get you another skill. Base. Add inspiration. Intrinsic but limited. Cannot be mastered. Okay, so I already have, I only have the red tones, so I think that should be fine. We can refine Jendaya's deck. Is she the one who wants to do that though? In part cannot be mastered. Inventive solutions can't be. Earth cover. All right. Unlock. Agility charges will reduce the AP cost of this skill. Sure. She doesn't really have the ability to gain agility charges, but like, when she does. Rocky gains seven. Shift Rocky gain one agility. Oh!
Hell yeah, okay. We were actually just just doing a thing there. Just uh just having a time of that. So thirty-eight damage. So does does increasing our decks here forty four? Forty four Wait, what? It went from thirty eight to forty one. I Okay. Dope. And rank that up. So what is the actual damage on that card now? Fifty nine. Nice. Ah, indicates a number of exhaustion cards, gotcha. All right. I think, I think, I think we're in a better spot here now. So now we go verse, scatter, and turn. You can swift kill anyone here. <laughs> and then target, and then swift kill again. Or not, well, not swift kill that time. And now we shift Rocky, gain an agility. You and Rocky draw a card. I actually don't know if I want to shift Rocky. Earth cover is now costing one less. That's cool. Actually, we don't want to retain anything that's not already being retained, because just none of them are that useful. One, two, can we rock heave this? I can rock heave the one right behind me. Amazing. Excellent. They come in on somewhat low initiatives, it seems like. Okay. So we go expertise. We spend the inspiration we got. Oh, I should have used verse first. Wait, why didn't that bounce? I'm so confused. Oh, Alright. And... Celerity. Into a somersault. So that you get that man that energy back. And let's get you that. Shift you forward. Can we get another attack? We cannot. Yeah. Alright, you're gonna move there. Invent a solution. We want to earth cover Rocky. Cause he not doing good. Um. Oh, 
I guess he's not necessarily doing good. He's not necessarily doing bad either, I guess. Oh my god. Um, ooh. Bam, well, bam, hidden blade. Let's go. We're just gonna dodge then. Okay, now give me vigor. Give me more vigor. Give me. Chorus. We throw a rock at him, he dies. Excellent. Okay. Damn. Okay, we're kind of leveling up crazy right now. Sword of Ages. Lucius gains max XP. SP, not XP. All right. Well, we have a level up. Increase skill rank. Refine. Remove a skill from your deck. So, I kind of feel like the dodges are hurting here. So we're gonna take out a block card. This, this is fine. He doesn't need block cards, okay? The only person who needs to know how to block is Jendaya. Speaking of which, transmute Earth. Target two random cells for every occupied cell at a random temp rock card. Into your hand, they cost one less. AP. Deal 21 damage to target in lane channel. Target two random friendly cells. Hmm. Wait, rock rank? Okay, we're gonna go for this transmute earth thing because this sounds funny. Alright, let's get. Honestly, if there's an ally in your row, max agility charges plus one item cards. Melee initiative. Pain. Max card draw on first turn. Let's check out this limit break thing. What is it? What does it even mean certain cards take SP? Oh, look at that, we got a second skill tree. So I think I want her to have Glamour as a skill tree. Cause like, it's a pretty good one. I'm gonna wait until we have more skill points actually. But you've got respect points just setting around. What the fuck? Why do you just have two respects? All right, uh, dodge, get the fuck out of here. Exchange for more assassin stuff. Observe Perry. Perry's not bad. I don't like these replacements though. I think we are gonna go for Perry. If he needs to block, we want it to be dealing damage. Modify, hold on. Wait, 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 modify. Change mastery, oh, okay. So no, we just wanna exchange this out. Subterfuge, like, Ok, 
grants stealth to a unit on it. Additionally, five guard. I mean, the none of these, none of those really help. Apply vulnerable. That's fine. Next time you plant a trap, plant one more. No, if you're not if you're not sticking to you. wall in stealth. But what cards put you in stealth? Discard a card. If card is attack, gain guard. If defense, gain critical. And then just gain agility. I guess. You know what? I am actually gonna take this marksman's necklace from Naren. I know it's like her thing, but like he moves a lot more. Like a lot, a lot more. One AP, cannot go over max AP. Guess who this is going to? Fuck it. We're just gonna give him all the AP potions and we're gonna make sure everyone else can survive. Pick up a random blessing for this boss battle. Fantastic. What do we got? Mantra of Refuge gained two immunity. Nice. Okay. Intro to Conflict. Verse of Vigor. And then we are going to get it. And turn. All right. Just start bullying people. Yep, just Rocky, go ahead and block up. Hopefully. Hopefully we've got this. 59 damage. 97 damage, actually. Uh... <laughs> Amazing. Give me an attack. <gasps> oh, you did it. Um, move to there. Then you can shift forward, feign that defense out of there, and just stab. Oh my god. Oh, poor Rocky. Oh, he is so dead. Oh no, okay, Rocky's, yeah, Rocky's dead. Um, hmm. Chorus, verse, chorus, and turn. Damage on self and all shocked enemies. Uh, 
Like, is it possible to keep Rocky alive here, I wonder? Shape Earth. Destroy all rocks. Create a rock on three random cells. Wait, that's not what it... That's not what it said it was going to give me! I don't like that. That's annoying. Okay. Rocky survived this round. that guy out until he die excellent now let's see here I'm setting a 20 critical right what if we go and say well It's the only movement skill in my hand. Come on. Draw a card. All right, whatever. Try me. Ow, why did you zap her? Bastard. Ow. All right. Asva. Asfab. Your days are numbered. Um, yep, we're gonna pop that. Play some music for him. I, uh... How did I have so much energy? I have no clue. I have no idea what's happening. <laughs> All right, we are going to give Rocky, very own rock. We're gonna give Alphonse his very own hour energy. And Blizzard ability looks pretty scary, not gonna lie. Okay, you, use rock, smack. More smack. He's down to 120 hit points. Got him on the ropes. 57 there. Um. We can just go for a straight 41. Oh, wait. Quick draw. Okay. And then lure you in. I don't, I don't know where all that extra energy came from. Switch strike. Uh, Pharrell leap. Let's get that going. Recover one. Yeah. Recover one AP. And then recover another AP. Another, another AP. 41 damage. God damn it. Are you kidding me? No! Norin! Norin, no. No Norin dying. Do not let Norin die. I swear to God. Alright. Good. Assassination time. Fan tankulous. Oh my god, I'm popping and cracking all over the place. Alright, oh my god. Did we finally hit level 8? We get a soul phylactery, we don't need it. All vendor purchases cost 30% less gold. Gain a talisman. What is a talisman? What is this? Gimme. 
Minus five, plus one, void, void cards? Poison cards. Plus one melee attack damage per 33 levels. We're level eight. Plus one rank to all summons. These are all trash. What's a void card? Jesus. Rounds have a higher chance of carrying curses. Enemies resist lightning damage. The lay of the land is unknown. No forge nodes. Enemies are one level higher. Nodes have a chance to have burning ground. Items along route have a chance to be concealed. Routes have a higher chance to be difficult to cross. Area contains oases. Sounds like a good thing. We're gonna go for the oases. All right, we're level eight. How do we do the synergy thing? How do I get it? Gimme. How do I, oh God. Can I camp? Requires 10 supplies. Hold on. Wait, I can just camp wherever? Okay, so we've entered act three and we are going to be fighting, it looks like a scorpion? The scorpion king, nonetheless. But, uh, this has definitely been a long part, and I think we are done for right now. Next time, we're going to be taking on the Scorpion King that Asvin worked for, and finally setting things right. But that's going to be it for now. In the meantime, y'all just remember, nobody cares. Thank you very much, and good night.